And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Fizz. This is the deck that I've been playing the most off stream. This is the deck that I really like playing. We are going all in on the Plunder, Steal Their Cards. Uh, they're just really strong. So we got you know our Black Market Merchants, Pilfer Good. We got two Slide of Hands in here and also a Strong Arm, which is clutch against like six mana Scythria from Demacia or even Grizzled Ranger, like either of those things, just putting those into your hand. Same with like Commander Ledros, taking their Commander Ledros, pretty awesome. I'm doing one little change from what I've been playing off stream is I, I have been playing three Riptide Rex, but we have a lot of top end cards, especially with Jaw Hunters creating a sea monster for you. You usually steal more expensive cards from them. So you, your hand can get clogged up because you draw lots of cards, same with Yordle Grifter. And so instead, I'm getting an extra one drop in here. I have been just been playing two Fizz, two Omen Hawk. We're going to get a third Fizz in here for our uh, third one drop. Um, but yeah, the last time we played this deck, we did play this like a week ago, but I played it just straight up Bilgewater and everything Bilgewater. And what I kind of noticed about the deck is that we didn't really have a great two mana card that we really wanted to play on turn two. You know, we were using like Hired Gun as like our other two drop um, and Coral Creatures. And, you know, they're not great. And so I wanted to play Fraljord to get Starlet Seer in here, because this is just another card that I really like, especially with a deck like this that has a lot of cheap spells. And the other thing that Fraljord really gives us is Elixir of Iron that protects um, things that we need to protect, especially Twisted Fate. Keep this card in play. But yeah, it's enough about the deck. Let's play it. Let's uh, head on over to Ranked. We're going to be playing five games with... My favorite deck right now. Um, tomorrow we got the early stream. We're going to be starting at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. That's the early stream time. Um, it's on the, the Twitch page. I do have like the schedule thing set up on the Twitch page. And so it does actually, so it does say that now, but I forgot to mention that. So whenever y'all are watching this, the stream will happen in like another four hours from whenever this comes out on YouTube. Anyway, uh, let's see. Vi Fiora. So Demacia. So... Keep? I think I'll just keep. Could see getting rid of the Yordle Grifter, but it's a pretty decent blocker. I just never get rid of Twisted Fate ever. Ugh, I didn't want to draw another four drop though. Now I obviously wish I would have gotten rid of Yordle Grifter if I knew we had a spray fin. Just don't want three things that cost four. Spell that, fight to cook it. And make it rain is basically good if they had Fleet Feather Tracker, but not so good against Warchefs. Gonna trade. I think that's a good solid trade. Alright, let's miss some folks up. Hmm. Dang, I wanted I wanted to gold card the Fiora. So I wanted to do. No, we missed. Uh, what kind of deck would you recommend when you keep running into Nexus damage aggro decks? So I think I just like this block more than using like a Make It Rain because we get the Omen Hawk out of here so that Fiora can't challenge my Omen Hawk. I like that. Anyway, I would I would recommend. Um, yeah, yeah. What you said they they who endure with a lot of life drain that definitely works. Um, the Karma Lux deck that that plays both, um, you know, that plays like three 
uh, health potions, and they have three Radiant Guardians. Like, that, that deck is really good against Burn. With all that stuff. And they have, you know, loyal Badger Bears. Early on. Oh, Vi's really good. I'm in trouble. Large creatures are our weakness. Vi and Asithria is pretty tough. We'll figure it out though. Yordle Grifter missed twice. We had two Yordle Grifters and they both they both missed. Wow, well, not ideal. Yeah, Karina Control. A lot of people play that to try to answer Burn. not have the best of luck and yet turn five seven five vi the seven power of vi on turn five and then uh and then cythria that'll do yeah grifters missed a couple of times did not help but i need to mulligan better the maker rain looked really bad it's good against fleet feather tracker but against what they had the maker rain not good at all. I don't have the spells to help Fizz out. You don't need Fizz right away. That's what I was thinking. Like, if they have their one drop. Think of how bad my Fizz would look right now. It's like, oh, I guess I just have to trade Fizz for their 2-1. Yeah, Fizz was not doing a lot for us. Thank you. Yeah, Linky did the deck. Um, 
Lorman, all, all, like always the decks are right here. It's like the second one. So we can always find the decks. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's right in there. Did let them by playing this. I did let them toss an extra two. Good job elixir of iron. Thanks, thanks, Dasky. Thank you. It's gonna be close. We're definitely gonna have more cards than them, but. Can we actually win or not? We'll find out. We'll carve through that gullet. Best case scenario would be make it rain and reduce that toughness. That'd be best case scenario. But I don't want to risk it. We'll just play Elixir. Cool, got a Withering Whale. I'll just make it rain, see what happens. Maybe just make it rain twice. I guess let's play Fizz first. Cause I kind of want to kill this thing with Mega Rains if we can. Not. I'm just passing still. that thing real big. Down to six cards left in library. They could only. So they just have all champions left. I don't actually get to steal anything because all they have are champions. Because they only tossed one card. So that means the last, the last five cards were all champions. They just drew two. Pretty sure that's what that means. Small, but she ain't lacking courage. 
Gotta wait for them to play Nautilus and get sea monsters back and then take their cards. We're at, we're at 25 still. Still 10 away from deep. Worth attacking with these? I mean, it's not. They're at 11. Let's put them down to 1. Yeah, I mean, that's perfectly fine. I guess I probably should just challenge the 7 2. Yeah, because I, I need I need more spots. Should just challenge the 7 2. But... I mean, I could spend seven mana and go Mega Rain plus Withering Whale. That's probably worth it, because they can't play Nautilus this turn, so I don't really have other things to do this turn. So yeah, let's let's do it. Let's hope to hit. Sweet. Awesome. Our deck has so much card draw. It's like everything just draws cards. You know, like Jaw Hunter, our removal Jaw Hunters draws cards. You know, we got that. <laughs> we got that elusive sea monster. Um, you know, our, our Yordle, uh, Yordle Grifter can draw two cards. Sometimes the Pilfer Good draws two. Black Market Market Merchant draws a card. Twisted Fate, we can have that draw a card. The spray fin draws a card. Is this actually like where pilfered goods isn't good? We just like help them get to these champions and help them get deep. Is that actually bad? Like at this point, like you'd you'd want to have like the pilfered goods after they play Nautilus and take all their cards. Maybe. Yeah, pilferds were like after Nautilus, that's what I'm thinking, and so that's why I don't really want it in my opener. Could be great after Nautilus to like mill him out. Ever stop me. 
Oh, I had it wrong? Oh, no. I had my mute. Oh, man, sorry. I had my mute backwards. My bad. So now I'm not muted. Anyway, what I was saying is with that parlay, basically I was going to do exactly what I just did. Whenever... Um, whenever my opponent killed my Twisted Fate, then I played the parlay on that, because then I was able to play the other Twisted Fate and red card. Hey, Forks. Welcome back. Thank you for the uh, eighth month uh, sub here. That is awesome. Thank you so much there, Forks. Uh... Attack. Third sub of the day. Okay, camera. I'd like to take a card from hand. <clears throat> That's not necessarily taking a card from the deck. Take one of these. What you got for us? No, the reason why I didn't want to parlay after Twisted Fate was because um, I didn't want them to, like, if I just play Twisted Fate red card first, then they have the opportunity to play another um, creature and then toss two more with the Maokai because the Maokai is still out there. Mark of the Isles? Where'd that card come from? Yeah, I, no, I, I reset Rex, I, I just reset the voice thing. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. Nice. Talk about value. A four mana, five, five. That's so small, but she ain't lacking courage. That, um, that creates a, a warning shot and a Jaw Hunters, and the Jaw Hunters creates a sea monster. Like these two are gonna kill these two. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Fell into him. Go and harvest him. Oh, what? We're killing starlets here, not twisted fate. That's what we're doing. Alright, I, I should have just done that before that other Starlet Seer died. Kind of determined just to fire that off, because, you know, we're going to be going for lethal. They know about the Mark of the Isles in hand. Okay. Like, we're going for lethal and also uh, just, you know, just maybe we pump something up. So that'll put them to six. That's a lot of life. All right, so if I mark, they go up to 11, they take 11. Is that right? Looks like it's right to me. No, Maokai tosses every time you play something, right? Does it only toss once per turn? I know it only plays the sapling once per turn. Does it only toss once per turn, too? Oh, uh, if that's the case, I thought it tossed every time you played something. We just... Our win condition is just attacking the, the opponent. Attacking them with stuff. 
Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, it is. The first time. My bad. It's a pretty good hand. This is the matchup where the steel cards are king. Really want to have as many steel cards as possible. I do hate giving them plunder. Ooh, lucky they didn't have Black Market Merchant. Yeah, the card command is great. Yeah, you just do exclamation point card and then the card name. You don't have to know all of it. Just passing? Perfect. That's perfect. That value. Oh my gosh. This value never ends. Should have done that pre-combat. Come on, what do you think? You think that's gonna resolve? No. That's insane. We took their Starlet Seer for one mana that's an Omen Hawk. Crazy. Sure. I'll go back to my turn. My turn's cool. You wanna go my turn? We'll go to attacks. That's cool. This game's gotta be over, right? Never lost a fair game. Do I want to protect you, Fizz? Does it matter if you die or not? I'm mean, gonna have this other fizz in hand. I'll just let this fizz die. What else you got? Come on. What else we got over here? Uh, Casper, there's a new a new region was released the last week of, like the end of last month. Come on, cough it over. Fury of the North. Interesting. So yeah, there's a new region, Blackwater. Or Pilgewater. <laughs> Combined a black market merchant with bilge water. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, so there's probably a new, yeah, there's probably a new starter deck that you got. So yeah, it's called Buff and Tough. So yeah, I guess, guess there was a new starter deck. Just passing. It's a good chance that I should just untap. Oh, back in the one hundos. We're three and one. We got one more match to play. These Bilgewater cards are really good. Yeah, the the very big creatures is tough. So yeah, Demacia is probably our worst matchup. Especially Demacia with with uh, Vi. That is definitely a nightmare. I want more steel cards. I want black market merchant, pilfered goods. Okay, I'll take this. Get a Starlet Seer with protection. going to go ahead and elixir of iron make that block or nah if I if I don't block here then they get to pilfer goods Hey, Mamba Man. That's good. I did not want them stealing. Man, imagine they stole that Zap's Brave Fin. That would have been bad. Would have been bad. So kind of my problem is, you know, I would like to Twisted Fate kill that, but then if I do that, then my Twisted Fate is, oh, they're not, they're not a Twisted Fate deck. Oh, I was thinking that my Twisted Fate was going to be weak against their Twisted Fate. They're not even playing Twisted Fate. Oh, well, this big elusive thing can do some work. They're gonna draw something that's pumped up pretty good from an Omen Hawk. I mean, I guess just one, one thing. Fortune favors 
Yeah, we're coming up on Rex closing this game out for us, hopefully. No! Oh no! No! I took my black market merchant! Tilt! So there's mist. I'll be damned. How you doing over here, Fizz? Four? Not bad. One out of eight. Almost there. There's plenty of killing there. Plenty of killing left. Treasures of the ages for a price. Fell into him. Through the coral. Credit denied. All right, down to five. <gasps> this Zap Sprayfin still looking pretty strong. Good draw, good draw. That gives us the warning shot for the Rex. And potentially something else. From their deck. I like this deck that we're playing. This is, like I said, this is my favorite deck to play off stream whenever I'm just kind of, you know, like pull, pull up the app on my phone, want to get a game or two in. This is what I've been playing the last few days. And I think I mentioned it at the beginning, but I played I did play three games earlier today and I was 3-0 with the deck. Take an omen hawk. <laughs> yeah, my opponent's doing all the pickpocketing stuff too. Yep, you get it, you get it. So I, think, I think Rex still finishes this out, I think. Oh no. That's bad. Is it? Actually, maybe that's good. What? Gonna parlay kill the grifter? You gotta parlay, right? I could just have warning shot, I guess, and just go for the frostbite. Take it up with my friends. Oh, that just frostbites like that. That's fine. Whatever, that's still... Okay, so that's good. Because we can potentially have a whole lot of targets for Riptide Rex on the 2-2. That's what we want. No, wait. Is that just... Uh, let's see. What are you targeting? Oh, you're targeting that. Okay. That didn't show up.
So they need to have another Sejuani plus a fast speed spell to deal damage to me. Pain is not to stay alive. So, you know, just like a make it rain. Don't know if it's actually worth attacking with this Twisted Fate. If they do have that, and they get to kill Twisted Fate, because if they don't, I guess we're not leveling up Twisted Fate next turn anyway. Yeah, so we're going to force them to have it. And of course, remember, this could be a red card that does one damage. Okay, they didn't have it. So there we go. That's Twisted Fizz. Fun deck to play. So if you like doing the, uh, you know, black market merchant, pill for good, sleight of hand kind of stuff, definitely recommend this deck if you like your value cards. Tons and tons of value cards here. Things that give you trouble are the you know the big uh, creatures from Demacia, especially Vi Demacia. Um, those can definitely give you trouble. Um, that's what you you have you know like your steel cards for you. You hope to like kind of take some of their like Grizzled Rangers or Badger Bears like things like that. Their Scythrias. Um, you know you can strong arm their Scythria or or Grizzled Ranger um, to help you out. And uh, also, like, Fearsome can be a problem sometimes because you do have a lot of things that are 2-2s, two like, or, like, 2-power, Black Market Merchant, Starlet Seer, Twisted Fate, Zap Spray Fin. So there are a lot of things with 2-power. But, um, you know, again, you can steal their things. You have the Jaw Hunters that make sea monsters for you. You have the Yordle Grifter. You have Omen Hawk that can pump any of that stuff up to 3-power. And, again, Starlet Seer can also pump some of that stuff up, too. It's a fun deck to play. Uh, don't focus too much on fizz of like keeping like using using too many resources to really keep fizz alive or to give fizz elusive and, and attack there are times like where you want to do that later on like to help finish the game out like have fizz and zap spray and help finish the game out or if you need to turn on plunder but uh, don't you know it's don't like protect fizz at all cost if fizz dies it's okay um <clears throat> All right, but there we go. So that's a Twisted Fizz. Uh, so we'll give you a viable Ash deck. It's super hard to win with Ash. All right, that's what we're going to be doing up next with our, our Frostbite deck. That'll be our next one. Uh, those of y'all watched on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate both of those. But thank you so much for watching some Twisted Fizz. And I'll see you for the next video.